dear students welcome to the chemistry class today i'm going to talk about chapter 7 in your textbook chemical reactions first we see the learning objective by the end of the session you will be able to differentiate between physical and chemical changes and reactions classify and detect the different type of reactions detect the type of redox non redox reactions by analyzing the change you able to know a few real life chemical reactions way of prevention of some harmful reactions in real life and special type of reactions okay let's start it you have to understand the difference between a chemical changes and a physical changes matter changes due to heat pressure and reacts or contact with other substances so there are two types of changes physical changes and chemical changes so let's observe uh, some examples ice and melting water water evaporation water vapor Water can exist three different states solid, liquid, and gaseous. All three substances are same, only their physical states are different. Ice is a solid, while water is liquid and vapor is gaseous. Here, solid ice turn into liquid and liquid water turn into water paper there is no chemical changes that's mean no new substances of form here only a state change solid to liquid and liquid to vapor so this is physical changes we look carefully cutting off apple whole apple the whole apple turned into a piece of apple here only appearance changes no new substances are form if we add it different piece of apple we get the whole apple so this is physical changes in the same way chopping up wood cutting up paper the example of physical changes physical changes again let's observe some examples methane gas is born in oxygen The gas we use for cooking basically consists of methane gas. When methane gas is burned in oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and heat energy is produced. So this is chemical changes because here new substances are formed like carbon dioxide, water vapor, heat, and this reaction cannot be turned back. So, this is chemical changes. On the same way, rusting, rusting on iron, burning of mastic, wood bonds, lighting of candle.
these examples are chemical sections. Now we come to the definition. Physical changes the kind of changes where only appearance changes but no new substances form is called physical change. Example ice melting water and water evaporation water paper. Chemical changes the kind of changes where new substances gets form is called chemical changes. When wood burns chemical reaction take place a ah, new substance is formed and when methane gas is burned in oxygen carbon dioxide water paper and heat energy is produced in this session we will learn a different types of chemical reactions first addition reaction The reaction in which two or more reactants combine together to form a new product is called addition reaction. Here A and B uh, reactants to react each other and produce AB. So reactant the substances that participate in a chemical reaction is called reactant. For example, chlorine gas adds with iron 2 chloride and produces iron 3 chloride. Synthesis reaction. The reaction in which two or more reactants combine together to form a single product is called synthesis reaction. So synthesis reaction produces a single product and the product is always a compound. For example, hydrogen gas combines with nitrogen gas form ammonia gas. Decomposition reaction The reaction in which a compound breaks into one or more elements or molecules is called decomposition reaction. Decomposition reaction exactly opposite to addition reaction. In addition reaction, one or more elements are added, on the other hand, decomposition reaction one or more elements split up decomposition reaction a b turn into a and b by splitting up for example when heat is applied on a phosphorus pentachloride it decomposes into phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas. Substitution reaction or single displacement reaction. Substitute means an atom or a group is replaced by another atom or group. So the reaction in which an atom or a group is replaced by another atom or a group is called substitution reaction. Here 
A reacts with BC produce AC plus B. Here B is replaced by A. For example, zinc metal displaces hydrogen from a sulfuric acid to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. Double displacement or substitution reaction. The reaction in which two elements exchange their position in two compounds is called double displacement reaction. AD react with BC and produce AC plus BD. Here A and B. two elements exchange their position. Say for example, barium chloride, sodium sulphate react each other and produce barium sulphate plus sodium chloride. Interchange of group of atom ions. In this reaction, the cations are barium and sodium and anions are chloride and sulphate. If we swap the anions or cations, we get as products barium sulphate and sodium chloride. Neutralization reaction. The reaction in which acid and base react each other to form salt and water is called neutralization reaction. Acid base, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, salt and water. Example, in aqueous solution, HCl and sodium chloride reacts and form sodium chloride and water. Sodium chloride remains dissolved in a reaction container. Here, yeah, basic reaction occur H plus and OS minus and produce neutral molecule water. Precipitation reaction. A chemical reaction in which cation and anion combine together to form an insoluble ionic solid is called precipitation reaction. Say for example, when silver nitrate solution is mixed with sodium chloride, they react and they produce silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Sodium chloride, silver nitrate, sodium chloride, and sodium nitrate. Here, sodium chloride, insoluble solid. Insoluble solid is called precipitate. Here, soluble salt 1, soluble salt 2. Sodium chloride and silver nitrate both are soluble salt. When they react, produce insoluble ionic solid that is called precipitate. precipitate. The solid substance that is formed in precipitation reaction is called precipitate. Reversible reaction. The reaction in which reactants form the product and products can also form reactants is called reversible reaction. 
example hydrogen and iodide reacts each other produce hydrogen iodide and this produce hydrogen iodide again it converts into hydrogen and iodine hydrogen iodide a reversible sign hydrogen iodide irreversible reaction the reaction in which the reactants are completely formed to the product a cold irreversible reaction example calcium carbonate when heated it breaks into a solid limestone calcium oxide and gaseous carbon dioxide combustion reaction a chemical reaction in which a compound reacts with oxygen to form a new product and heat is called combustion reaction example natural gas or methane reacts with oxygen of air and produces carbon dioxide and what methane reacts with oxygen carbon dioxide and what along with heat exothermic reaction exo means release so the chemical reaction that release energy and during the reaction is called exothermic reaction example in the have a process one mole nitrogen three moles hydrogen produce two mole ammonia and release 92 kilojoule of heat in an exothermic reaction energy is released into the surroundings as heat as a result the temperature of the surroundings increases hotter than surroundings because energy is released here endothermic reaction endo means absorb the chemical reaction that absorbed energy during the reaction is called endothermic reaction example one mole nitrogen and one mole oxygen react and produce two moles nitric acid and absorb 180 kJ per mole of heat it absorbs in an endothermic reaction energy is absorbed from the surroundings as a result the temperature of the surroundings is dropped cooler than surroundings because energy is absorbed here special types of reaction first hydrolysis reaction hydro means water and lysis means a break apart a chemical reaction in which a compound reacts with water to produce or form a new compound is called hydrolysis reaction example aluminum chloride reacts to water and produces aluminum hydroxide and hydrochloric acid in this type of reaction if any compound makes precipitate the following reaction can be considered uh, as hydrolysis and precipitation reaction in this reaction 
aluminum hydroxide as a solid form so this reaction is called hydrolysis and precipitation reaction hydration reaction a chemical reaction in which water molecules attached with a substance example copper sulfate without water colorless powder with water its color a bright blue polymerization reaction Monomer means one and poly means a large or many. The reaction in which lots of monomers get joined together to form a polymer is called polymerization reaction. Example, on high temperature and pressure, innumerable molecules of vinyl chloride combine together and form polyvinyl chloride in shortly pvc of heavy atomic mass monomers polymerization polymer isomerization or rearrangement reaction iso means same and meros means parts so the reaction in which atoms or groups of a compound are rearranged themselves to form a new product which has exactly the same atoms but different structure and hence the physical and chemical properties are different is known as isomerization reaction isomer atoms of a compound having same molecular formula but different structural formula and then each formula is called isomer example molecular formula C2H6O to different compound ethanol and dimethyl ether physical status liquid boiling points 78 degree centigrade and uh, solubility uh, soluble in water on the other hand dimethyl ether physical status Gas yes, boiling point minus 24 degree centigrade and solubility sparingly is soluble in water. Okay, dear students, no more today. If you study and pay attention to the lectures, I think. It will be a benefited or helpful to you. Have a good day.